Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Lightning McQueen Cars Cupcake Tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make this great little Lightning McQueen cupcake the perfect accompaniment to our Tomato Cupcake and perfect for the Cars fan in your life. Tools and equipment that we will be using today I've got my Lightning McQueen printable cupcake wrapper. Now I have made and designed these for you guys and these are available for download. I will leave a link to them in the description box below. I've printed mine out on a 210 GSM card, so quite a, th a thick sort of a card stock. And I've just lined mine with a little bit of wax paper and sticky tapes it at both ends. Now this is just because on these cupcake wrappers, you do tend to get, when the frosting's actually touching the cupcake wrapper, you tend to get a little bit of, I guess a little bit of run from the oils and the butters in your buttercream frosting going down along this cupcake liner. So for this cupcake, I would definitely suggest lining them with the wax paper, depending on how much of a perfectionist you are. If you don't, you will end up with sort of a dark spot just around the edges of the wrapper and it takes away from the look of the cupcake a little bit. I've got some sticky tape. I've got my cupcake here ready to ice. I've got some of our perfectly pipeable buttercream frosting that I've tinted red today. I will leave a link in the description box below to the recipe for that frosting if you would like it. I've got some little white sprinkles or white non-pareils they're called. I've got a knife, some melted dark chocolate, a little bit of just tap water. I've got three white chocolate melts or white candy melts and I've got a skewer. So let's get started. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fit our cupcake wrapper to the cupcake. I've designed this as a bit of a one size fits all so it will, it should fit cupcakes from larger ones all the way down to smaller ones. You'll find, minus some of the smaller ones, you'll find that you might have a little bit of overlap. Just snip that off if you find you get a little bit of overlap and it sh you should be able to make them fit pretty much any size of cupcake that you're baking. And I'm just going to, just going to sticky tape that at the back there. So just a little bit of tape. Now make sure that you keep an eye on where the front of your Lightning McQueen is, obviously his little headlights and his smiley face. You want to take your knife and before we get into the frosting, which is going to get a little bit messy, you just want to take your three candy melts. Now I've picked a couple there that are about the same size and this one here, I just want to cut just the top, I guess quarter or just under a quarter off with my knife. So that's going to be our little spoiler and we're going to stick it in this way. So what you really want is just a bit of a flat top to give it a bit of a, a flat edge at the top there. So now you want to take your knife and just dip it into the buttercream frosting and I always use the back of my knife. So you'll see there I'm not using the rounded edge, I'm using the back edge. And we're just going to spoon some of that on. Now I'm trying not to get it over the sides of the cupcake wrapper and if you do happen to get any frosting on your hands, give them a wash straight away because any of the oils from the buttercream are going to mark those cupcake liners and you want to keep them as neat as possible. So I'm just using the knife just back and forward, back and forward so that it's got a nice even, I guess a distribution and we're making just a bit of a mound there. Now I'm going to just wipe the knife off, knife off on a little tea towel and I'm just going to Go right around the outside, wiping in between. Give us a really nice flush and neat finish. Beautiful. So you can see there we've got quite a nice and neat little mound on our cupcake. Make sure that you do keep an eye on where the front of your cupcake is. There's nothing worse with a cupcake like this than realising that you've got his eyes above one of his wheels instead of above his nice smile. So from the front there, you just want to scrape back just a little bit. So you can see that I'm just scraping back that frosting a little bit. Keep it still nice and flush at the front there. But we're just going to scrape it back and give us a, a little bit of, I guess, a, a gradient for our eyes to sit on. All right, so what you should have there is quite a, a low front, a nice gradient, and then your frosting should be quite a bit fatter and thicker at the back there. So you want to take your two white candy melts, or your two white chocolate melts, and you want to stick one down, and then the second, and you want to overlap the second just a little bit. So something like this. Not looking very Lightning McQueeny just yet, I know. So now I'm going to turn it around to face me because that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Make sure that your two eyes are nice and even and take a bit more of that frosting and just build up that front. So we've scraped it back quite a bit. I'm just going to put a bit more of that frosting on the front there. 
and I'm going to, as I work it back onto the cupcake, I'm also working it across just the bottom quarter of that candy melt. So the, the cars guys, their eyes are actually not round, they're, they're square like windshields. So we're using round candy melts, but we're going to square them off in, so that they still have that windshieldy kind of a look. Beautiful. All right, so you can see there we've squared off the bottom half nicely. Just take your knife again and just run it around. And you do want to make sure you've got quite a nice little gradient at the front there because he's a sports car. Want the aerodynamics to be right on this little guy. Now you want to leave those eyes sort of slanting back a fair bit. So you can see that they're slanting back quite a bit. And I'm just going to take some of this frosting and I'm just going to scoop it over the front. And once again, we're going to give it that little bit of an eyelid. So one eyelid is always bigger than the other. This one here is the slightly smaller one and on the other side we'll do it a little bit thicker and a little bit bigger. So I'm looking at that and I still think that they're a bit too even. I want this eye here to be just a little bit more pronounced in the eyelid. So I'm just going to push that down and make that one a little bit thicker. If you love this tutorial, make sure that you head on over to our channel My Cupcake Addiction. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. We've got lots and lots of great tutorials for kids and adults, cupcakes and cake pops and all sorts of cake decorating. On the sides, just take your frosting ever so slightly over the side of that candy melt. Once again, it's just to blend those in and to remove any of that round kind of a, a side or rounded look. Perfect. Now I'm just going to wipe off my knife and try to keep that as clean as possible. Now at the back here, you want to take your little spoiler and you're going to push it in. So just pushing it into the frosting there a little bit so that it's sticking out quite pronounced. And I'm going to use the back of my knife again, always the back of my knife. And I'm just going to scrape down and as I scrape down, I'm coming up on that spoiler. It is going to push down a little bit, so be very gentle with it. You can see there, just covering it up. Cover over the backs of that white chocolate. Don't worry too much about the underside, it's not going to be seen really at all. So worry first about covering it and about getting that nice neat finish. So I'm going to clear off my knife and I'm just going to smooth everything down. Smoothing down the sides, smoothing down the back, across those eyelids. And as I'm smoothing that back, I'm just grading it down a little bit, keeping with that sleek sports car -y type look. And then as a very last thing with that back there, I'm just going to use my knife and just prop that spoiler right back up. You can push it down a little bit more if you feel like it's a little bit flimsy. And I'm going to support it with my hand and just take off a little bit of that extra frosting just so that it's not too heavy. Perfect. Neaten it up on the back. You've got your little spoiler. So finally for our little Lightning McQueen, we're going to do our eye detail. We're just going to take that skewer. You're also going to take your melted dark chocolate and these little tiny white sprinkles and your water. So you want to give your chocolate a little stir, make sure that it's as fluid as possible. And you want to turn him back towards you. And I like to just put two little dots of the dark brown chocolate in the centre of the eyes, sort of down near the bottom. So one. And I tend to go across both of the eyes. I'm not sure why. Just personal preference. Beautiful. Now taking the other end of your skewer, Dip it in some of that water, so just dampen it off and then dip it into those little white sprinkles. You'll pick up quite a few of those little sprinkles. So well, I've got two there now. Just touch one sprinkle onto the chocolate there and it will stick. And on the other side, the other sprinkle. Use the end of your stick just to pat it down. And if you've got any little, I suppose, little tops of the dollops on there, you can just use that skewer just to neaten those off and to move any, any little pointy bits. So in a nutshell, there you have your gorgeous and relatively easy little Lightning McQueen cupcake. The perfect accompaniment to the Tomater cupcake. The perfect, perfect cupcake for the Cars fan in your house. As always, thank you very much for watching.